Okay, so let's see if you can find the answer to this simple math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is as follows. A house and lot cost $270,000. The house cost five times as much as the lot. What is the cost of the lot? All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before I show you the answer, let's take another look at the question. So a house and a lot. Now, just in case you don't know what a lot is, that's the land the house is built upon, right? So you buy a lot, a piece of land, and you're gonna build a little house on that lot. All right, so a house and a lot cost $270,000. The house cost five times as much as the lot. What is the cost of the lot? All right, so let's take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is $45,000. Now, if you got that right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being able to solve a basic math word problem. Now, I'm going to be using algebra here to solve this problem, but a lot of you could have simply just um, used your calculator, did it a, a few steps, and just got the right answer. And if you've uh, solved it in that manner, that is fantastic. However, I would encourage all of you that got the right answer, right? So if you answer this correct, uh, how could you teach this to someone? Or if you were taking an exam, how could you justify your answers? So when you're doing math, even though you can get the right answer, you always want to think in terms of how can you prove your result or how can you show that in fact you did the problem right? So that kind of forces you to have logic and show each step of the process in order uh, for you to solve a math problem. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this thing right now. We are dealing with a math word problem. And of course, everyone just gets so excited when they are dealing with math word problems. But in actuality, people, uh, a lot of people, you know, are scared of math word problems. They're like, math word problems? I don't even like math. Now, a word problem is what? Well, a word problem is simply an application of your math skills, right? So why learn math if you're not going to actually solve uh, actual real problems with it? And uh, math word problems are kind of, you know, real life situations where we can use our math skills to uh, figure out the answer to questions. Now, in this particular case, um, we've already read the problem a couple times, but you always want to use something called the rule of three. And uh, this is my rule. And the rule of three is basically read a problem at least three times before you do anything. Now, even though you understand the problem, just don't start doing stuff right away. Think about it. Let uh, you know your brain kind of kick in and think about a, uh, a, an effective strategy to solve the problem. And the longer you wait or if you kind of force yourself to think and reflect upon and read the information over and over again in the problem, oftentimes you'll kind of see the best strategy and you could just kind of you know execute on that. Because the worst thing that can happen is if you read something, read the problem real quick, you're like, oh, I know what to do. A lot of students, they'll kind of go off in this direction. They'll be like, wait a minute, uh, I think I'm doing this wrong. They'll come back, read the problem again, but they wasted a lot of time, and then they'll figure out how to do the problem wrong. So to avoid that, read a problem more than once. I recommend three times. But uh, when it comes to math word problems, a great strategy is to uh, model the problem, okay? And this is where you can get creative. So I like to kind of uh, just kind of construct some sort of sketch or model, a visual model, because if you can see the problem, oftentimes you can see the solution. All right, so we have this house and lot. The total amount of this is $270,000. We're interested in the cost of the lot, and we know that the house costs five times as much as the lot. So let's go ahead and break it down this way. So we have our lot plus our house, we know the total cost is $270,000. Now, a lot of you could just say, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're making this problem way too uh, complex. This is super easy. All we'd have to do is divide by six, and then 
uh, you know, from there we can kind of answer the question, well, let's just use some algebra here because algebra is a tool to solve a problem. So the lot plus the house is $270,000. But we know that the cost of the house is what? It's going to be five times as much as the lot. So let's use a variable like x to represent the cost of the lot. Okay, so if x represents the cost of the lot in dollars, then we can kind of think of the relationship here between uh, the lot and the house this way. So here, x is the cost of, the, of the, the lot, and 5x is the cost of the what? Well, this is the cost of the house, right? Because the house is five times as much as the lot. So going back to our problem here, it says the house costs five times as much as the lot. So if the lot is x, then the house is 5x, 5x excuse me, the grand total is $270,000. All right, so what we have here is a lovely algebraic equation. And when you're using algebra to solve a word problem, what you need to do is, one, establish a variable like x. And make sure you understand what that variable represents. Now, we can't uh, figure out what the variable is equal to unless we build an equation. Okay, so these math word problems are, you know, typically... Are you going to have enough information in them for you to build an equation if we're talking about like an algebra word problem? Now that we have our uh, equation, our algebraic equation, all we have to do is solve for x. So we have x plus 5x is equal to $270,000. So let's go to take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now I am not shy to ask for help, okay, uh, because I have a goal and hopefully you have a goal or goals. My goal is to reach as many people as possible and help them learn mathematics. And really what I try to do is uh, try to make math uh, easy to understand. You know, really, I don't like to teach in a very kind of complex uh, way or something that sounds like I'm reading out of a textbook. So I like to translate these concepts in an easy to understand manner. At least that is my goal. But I want to reach as many people as I possibly can. So I need your help with my goal. And the best way to support me on YouTube is to actually uh, click that subscribe button and that notification bell. That is it. And this allows me to reach people like yourself and just really anyone out there that is struggling with math that I have a possibility of helping. Well, that is my goal. Now, if you are studying math, okay, or if you're just interested in math, I'm wondering, do you have a goal? Now, if your goal is like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, my goal is just to pass my math class because I don't like math. So, well, you know, if that is your goal, that's fine, but you should really increase your goal, okay? So instead of just passing math or like, yeah, I just want to kind of learn basic math, you know, maybe consider upping your goal. So instead of just like, oh, I want to pass math, maybe your goal should be, I want to get an A in math or I want to get 100% math. You know, have high goals and then get the right kind of help to uh, help you, you know, reach your goals. Now, for me, my best work is in my math courses, my full main math instruction. You can find links to, uh, links to all my ma uh, main math courses in the description of this video. And what we're talking about here is basic algebra. So you might be interested in like my pre-algebra, algebra one course, or my math skills rebuilder course. All right, so uh, let's get back to this problem. And thanks for giving me a little bit of time to tell you why I do what I do. Now, uh, all we have to do is solve this basic equation for x. So x plus 5x is equal to 270,000. x represents the cost of the lot. 5x is the cost of the house, which is five times as much as the lot, right? So 5x in algebra, 5x means five times x. Okay, so to solve this basic algebraic equation, all we have to do is add these like terms. There's a one in front of this x, so we're going to add the numbers in front of the x's. These are what we call like terms because we have x and x. Now, if one of these was like x squared, if we had x plus 5x squared, we could not combine these terms, all right? So in algebra, something like 5x is what we call a term. And what we have here are like terms, okay, because they have the uh, exact same variable to the exact same power. So that means we can add the numbers in front of the variables, and these numbers are called coefficients, okay? So 1 and 5 
we're going to add the coefficients of the like terms. Now, you might be saying, hey, Mr. DJ Math Man, I don't really need to know all this technical language. Well, you should be familiar with these terms because you're going to see this over and over again in mathematics, especially algebra. All right, so 1x plus 5x, we have like terms. We can add the coefficients, so that is going to be 6x. All right, so we have 6x is equal to $270,000. So to solve for x, all we have to do is actually divide both sides of the equation by 6. So 6 divided by 6 will be 1 or 1x. And 270,000 divided by 6 is 45,000. Okay, now at this point in the problem, uh, we solved for x. But a lot of students get super excited. They're like, yes, I, I you know, solved the equation. Uh, here is what x is equal to. Well, you got to be very careful because the last step in solving uh, a word problem uh, where you have variables here is to make sure that you answer the question. So we have to go back and review, hey, what is x equal to? Well, x is equal to the cost of the lot, and that is the question, right? So the question in this problem is, what is the cost of the lot? Well, that is what x is equal to, and we solved for x, so that is $45,000. All right, so once again, a lot of you out there were able to just get your calculator and literally do this one, two, three by just dividing by six. And if you saw the, um, you know, the, the path to the solution in that manner, that's perfectly fine. But again, you know, you want to be able to uh, explain your results, okay? And even if you solve this using, you know, just kind of a more direct method, that's fine. But at least now you can see how we can use algebra to kind of structure a solution as well. Okay, so algebra is a tool, and hopefully you saw a little bit of how you can use algebra to solve a basic simple math word problem. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.